वेलकम टू 100 मोस्ट आस्क नेटवर्क इंजीनियर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सीरीज गाइज आई हैव डिस्कस 10 मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट नेटवर्क इंजीनियर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस फाइव मोर क्वेश्चन राइट सो योर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉज वॉट इज लैन सेकेंड वॉज डी एस सी पी डी एन एस विंडो इन नेटवर्किंग ओ एस आई मॉडल टी सी पी आई पी मॉडल नेटवर्क लेयर डेटा लिंक लेयर डेटा लिंक लेयर इन ओ एस आई मॉडल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ डेटा लिंक लेयर आफ्टर दैट ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर एंड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर एलेवन इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन टी सी पी एंड यू डी पी राइट इंटरव्यूअर कैन आस टू यू वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टी सी पी एंड यू डी पी नो यू हैव टू आंसर टू टू थ्री मिनट्स राइट यू हैव टू स्पीक टू टू थ्री मिनट्स सो यू कैन स्पीक लाइक दिस टी सी पी इज अ कनेक्शन ओरिएंटेड प्रोटोकॉल एंड यू डी पी इज अ कनेक्शन लेस प्रोटोकॉल टी सी पी इन टी सी पी वी कैन अरेंज रिसीविंग ट्रैफिक इन सिक्वेंस बट इन यू डी पी वी कांट rearrange or arrange receiving traffic in sequence right in tcp data retransmission can be done but in udp data retransmission can't be done so tcp is a reliable protocol and udp is a unreliable protocol flow control can be achieved in tcp but flow control can't achieve in udp in udp sorry here udp fine and Windowing is used in TCP, right? Windowing is not used in UDP. You can include this as well, right? Four-way handshake is done in TCP. Four-way handshake is not done in UDP, right? Now this difference, this is important distance difference, right? So TCP is a slow process and UDP is a fast process, right? By default, header size of TCP is 20 bytes and by default, UDP header size is 8 byte, right? And protocols which use TCP at transport layer is HTTP, HTTPS, TLNET, SSH, etc. are the protocols which use TCP at transport layer or at layer 4. And DNS, DHCP, NAT is the protocols which use UDP at layer 4 right segmentation is done in tcp right segmentation is also done in tcp but segmentation is not done in udp right so this is difference between tcp and udp and you can say this is vvi question vvi very very important for network engineer interview i am talking about fresher i am talking for fresher right only for fresher now next question can be next question can be explain three way handshake explain three way handshake guys this 100 question is most important for fresher right for fresher if you are fresher and applying for network engineer for job in company at post network engineer then this question definitely help you a lot to crack your interview right so these are the actually i pick these all question from interview right from a network interviewer asked this this question in interview right so these all question are equally important right so explain three way handshake next question can be explain three way handshake so three way handshake is a method we used in tcp ip network to create a logical connection between a local host or client client and server right so three way handshake is method of of creating a logical connection between host and server it is a three step method that required both client and server to exchange seen and act packets before sending actual data what i am trying to say over here is the three way handshake is a process of creating a logical connection between two machine between sender and receiver between client and server right just suppose this is my client this is my server right so this client wants to send some traffic to server right so before sending actual traffic right this machine will build a logical connection right by sending two messages seen and act seen means synchronization and act means acknowledgement right and this connection is known as tcp connection tcp 
connection right this machine will send one scene message after that server machine will send scene plus act right you already know these things right we discuss in ccna and after that client machine will send scene plus act right so this is three way handshake fine this is also vvi question right in for for fresher and your next question may be what is routing your interviewer can ask to you explain routing what is routing right so what is routing routing is nothing but routing is a process of finding path on which data can pass from source to destination routing is a process of finding a path from source to destination and routing done by a device called router right so router perform routing what is routing routing is process of finding a path from source to destination so that data, data can pass on that path right on that path suppose i am i have one network in delhi location in delhi location and i have one network in canada right so i need a path right i need a path to reach canada network from delhi network right so the process of finding that path is known as routing right and there is there are two types of routing first one is static routing and second one is dynamic routing right so you have to explain like this routing is a process of finding a path on which data can pass from source to destination routing is done by a device called router and there are two types of routing first one is a static routing and second one is dynamic routing right you already know what is a static routing and what is dynamic routing in this series i am going to explain you how to answer it in interview right that's it i am not going to explain topics in deep right okay so your next question can be explain a static routing this is also vvi question right vvi question for fresher for fresher right for fresher many times interviewer asked to fresher right explain a static routing so what is a static routing a static routing is type of routing a static routing is types of type of routing which is applicable for a small network right why not in large network right why not a static routing is not applicable for large network right uh, interviewer can ask this question as well right why we can't configure a static routing in large network yes you can configure a static routing in large network as well but it's very difficult right there is chance of human error right if i configure a static routing in large network there is chance of human error right because in a static routing network engineer have to configure routing for each and every routes right for each and every routes on every router in a network right so a static routing is type of routing which is applicable for a small network because in a static routing network engineer have to configure routing for all routes in a network right it is very difficult to configure a static routing in large network definitely right because if i i will configure a static routing in large network then i have to configure routing on each and every routing on on each and every router on every router in network right so definitely it is very difficult for network engineer and there is chance of human error as well right so what is the advantage of a static routing if i talk about advantage so it cause minimal load in cpu right so in a static routing there is less cpu utilization right there is yes less cpu utilization and generates no traffic for the other router but if i talk about dynamic routing right remember egrp in egrp every router is sending hello update right in rip hello update right to the neighbor but in a static routing there is no any periodic update like dynamic routing so definitely it will reduce cpu utilization right so this is advantage of a static routing and that's the reason why we are using a static routing in our network now the day right and your next question can be what is recursive lookup right so sometime interviewer is asking this question what is recursive lookup so this is 15 question number 15 what is recursive lookup when a router check their routing tables more than once more than once to forward a traffic that is known as recursive lookup if a router is 
checking their routing tables more than once, right? To forward the traffic. That means that is known as recursive lookup, right? So that's why we are not configuring a static routing using next hop IP address, right? Actually, what happened? If I configure, suppose I have two router, this is R1, R2. Suppose here I am running network 10.0.0.0 slash 8 and here I am running network 20.0.0.0 slash 8, right? Now, if I, if I will configure a static routing, then I have to configure on R1 manually, right? For 20 networks, that 20.0.0.0 who submit mask is 255.0.0.0 and next hop IP address is suppose here I am running 12.1 and here I am running 12.2 so next hop IP address is 12.2 and enter right then the sorter will store this route in their routing table how the sorter will store routes C, C means directly connected network 20.0.0.0 and next hop IP address 12.2 so on sorter will check suppose now this pc is sending one traffic in 20 network right so source ip will be 10.1 and destination ip will be 20.1 this traffic will receive by router now router will check destination network 20.0.0.0 okay now router will look up their routing table to forward traffic in 20 network now router will see 20.0.0 is, is Oh, sorry here 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 not see here will be s as for a static routing right it's my mistake s right then router will see 20.0.0.0 and next hop ip address is 12.2 but router have to know exit interface so router will check the routing table again right to forward traffic to 12.2 what will be my exit interface right so there will be one entry the directly connected network 12.0.0.0 on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 suppose this interface is 0 slash 0 so then router will came to know that okay i have to order this traffic from this interface 0 slash 0 now how many times router check their routing tables two times to forward traffic so this is known as recursive lookup right so this is question number 15 in next video i will discuss five more questions which is most important for network engineer interview okay so thanks for watching if you like this video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel to get notification whenever i will upload next video okay thanks for watching bye bye that's all for today